11 Danish art museums, artworks with open licenses, one shared mobile platform. We're a group of Danish art museums who have joined forces to do a pilot project using mobile devices to open up the experience of art and enhance user engagement. The participating museums have agreed on three principles. All public domain content is freely shareable and reusable. We use an existing platform instead of custom building a new one. Target users take part in developing and creating the experience. The incentive for the museums is to solve common challenges with common solutions. We want to start using open licenses on artworks in our collections, connect collections and send users onto each other, engage users in dialogue and encourage co-creation of content, recycle existing online content and build a sustainable platform using a dynamically updated system. The pilot platform is called Hint Me. Hints about art, take a hint, give a hint. It's a very simple shell that allows you to browse collections, artists and artworks and access an archive of images plus related comments and links. Using Twitter's API, the platform aggregates comments written in the Twitter stream and connects them to artworks in HintMe via individual hashtags. All images can be downloaded for free. It works like this. Stand in front of an artwork in a museum, pull out your smartphone or tablet, scan a QR code or enter a URL, scroll through a stream of brief comments, open links to related images, texts, videos, etc. Anyone can do this. Post a comment, question, add a link, photo, video. You need to be a Twitter user to do this. Maybe you get a response. If you direct a question or comment to one of the museum tweets, you certainly will. The 1% rule has guided the design process. Our definition of success is that the mobile tool will encourage users to look closer at the artworks. Most users will never know that content is aggregated from Twitter, but we try to make it real easy for users to contribute their own thoughts, questions, pictures or links. So why did we choose Twitter as our platform? Twitter is a democratic and multilingual space. Artworks can be identified by individual hashtags. The content production is manageable, both for museums and users. We can reactivate existing content by linking to deeper online resources. And finally, Twitter's functionalities are dynamically updated and improved. These are the open licenses adopted by the partnering museums. What did we learn so far? Museums and artists are willing to adopt open licenses, and there is a real demand for openly licensed content, not least from educational institutions. Users appreciate the democratic approach, but they don't necessarily want to participate. The curatorial voice is most wanted, especially if it's personal. Other people's conversations, though, add value to the experience. There's a risk of looking down at the screen instead of up at the artworks. Links to richer content takes focus away, and there's a technical learning curve. Finally, we're learning that users may not even want to use their mobile while visiting a museum. If anything, they'd prefer an audio guide. So now we're considering how we can integrate audio in the platform. How can we make it easier for people to use HintMe? How can we encourage more participation? Can we make this an indispensable tool for museum visitors? And finally, how can we make this scale? This project is an experiment for the sake of learning. We would love to hear your ideas on how we can move forward to create a sustainable mobile tool 
for art interpretation and engagement between users and museums. Try it out and give us a hint.